Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Heather, and in this video I'm going to be sharing with you some things that I've gotten over the past few weeks, as well as some chit chat updates kind of thing. Um, so if you're interested in seeing what I got and what information I have to share with you, please keep watching. All right guys, so as you guys know, um, I haven't had any videos up in a few weeks. It has been really, really crazy um, for me. And I kind of gave you guys some updates um, as to why I was taking some time off uh, from the videos. Um, I, my father had passed away and I shared a memorial that I had put together um, with all of you. So, yeah, that was a really hard time for me, but um, it's time for me to get back in the groove of things and try to have some normality, I guess. I've been missing doing the videos. I've been missing sharing some things with you guys. And so, yeah, so I figured I would kind of put three things in one, a little bit of chit-chat, some of the new things I got, as well as um, a review of a few things as well. So... Let's get started. Um, anyway, the first things that I want to share with you was I had gotten some new eyeshadows from MAC. And um, I had actually, these are some of the ones that was in the favorites um, Z palette of Jaclyn Hill. And I have more coming. I got some um, from Makeup Geek. I had gotten some from... Um, Anastasia Beverly Hills as well, and there was a few from ColourPop, I believe, um, but I'll show those as I get them. But I did get these the other day, and the first one is um, Coppering, and I just stuck my fingernail in it, but this is the first color, and this is the Coppering. I really, really like this. Yep. And I want to apologize in advance for this lighting because it sucks. Um, I hope it doesn't suck too bad for you guys, but it's later at night. The kids are in bed, and so I figured I would take some me time as well as give you guys some videos. So again, if the lighting sucks, I'm sorry. But anyways, back to the eyeshadow. Um, again, this is coppering, and I really... I really, really like this color. As you can see, it's got the shimmer behind it. So, before I drop this again, I have put it back in its little container. But this is coppering. I really like the color. Uh, again, you know, the shade is perfect. This can be used in so many different um, looks. So that is the first one. The next color I got is soft brown. Kind of speaks for itself. Um, this is the color. And it is exactly what it states. It is a soft brown. And on my skin tone, it's really not going to show up because I have the tan olive natural complexion. So it is um, here. But uh, again, um, this is one that I'm probably going to use mostly for... Um, the base as well as maybe um, blending you know uh, in some of the darker colors to make them blend in um, between the different colors so I really like this color again this is one that was in Jaclyn Hill's um, favorites uh, of her Z palette so and what I'm trying to do is actually um, make a Z palette with some of my favorite um, beauty YouTubers' um, eyeshadows, um, really consisting of, you know, Jaclyn Hill, um, 
Shen XO and Kathleen Lights. Those are my three top favorites right now. Um, and there's so many though. I well, and I like uh, Brittany Lee Saunders. I really like her. She is, <laughs> she tells it like it is, and there is no filter. But I love it. The next one is nylon. And I really like this. This one would be really, really good for the eyebrow bone. And it also has um, the shimmer as well as it. And more of a, um, this is more of a metallic, I guess you would say. But this is the color that I would probably use more on the eyebrow, eye, bleh, 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 eyebrow bone, um, the inner corner um, of the eye, and maybe uh, on the lower lower lash if you're really wanting to make the eye pop. So again, that's nylon. And I will have all of these that I show you um, linked in the description box below as well so it's back in here and then the last eyeshadow that i got is swiss chocolate it's a really nice color too and again i don't know if the lighting does it justice but but it is a very very nice color i, I like the darks it's pretty similar to the soft brown. Let's see, here's the soft brown. And here is the Swiss chocolate. And this again um, would be great for blending, great for the crease. Um, depending on how dark you're going on the inside, you could also use this in the outer V of your eye. So again, um, different looks. So many different looks with these colors. I absolutely love them. As you can see, the pigmentation it is absolutely fabulous. Uh, I like the colors that that puts off. And they seem to be very buildable because I had to build up some, as you can see, the soft brown, of course, um, again, is not showing up too well, but um, love it. I was so excited to see those come so quickly even. Um, MAC shipped them very, very quickly, so I, I was impressed with that. But moving along, um, the next thing that I want to share with you guys, I have been using this. Um, it's Lash and Brow Elixir. And some people are probably, probably thinking I'm crazy, but um, what it is is uh, it helps replenish the eyebrows and the eyelashes. And if you're wearing mascara on an everyday to day basis, this just helps keep them nourished um, to where when you're taking off your mascara and so forth, you're not losing the eyelashes. Um, but this is by Body Mary. And what it is, it's plant stem cells and rose ship oil. And uh, those are the two main ingredients, but there's a whole lot of stuff here and a lot to big words that I could not tell you. So moving along, I will tell you. It says what it does is shake well before use. Start with a clean, dry, and makeup-free eye area. Apply to lashes with brush application by sweeping from root to tip like a mascara. For brows, apply with short strokes on the desired areas for best results. Use once daily at night. Sweet dreams. So, this has got um, peptides, biotin, and panthenol. And this is what it looks like. So, it comes in this nice little bottle. And, um, let me open it. And it does have just like a mascara brush. So it does make it very, very nice to apply. It smells amazing. Oops, and I just built it. But you can tell, you can smell like plant in it too. So um, I've been using this for a few days. I 
can't tell you um, really at this point, you know, how well it works or anything like that. But I can tell you that it smells good and it's easy to apply. Um, I have read the reviews on it and so so many reviews have been, they have seen a difference in everything. So I contacted them, reached out to them as far as to try it. They actually sent me a full size item. So I am reviewing this item um, with no, with no, um, you know, intentions. It's just my opinion. There's, you know, it's not being um, uh, supported or anything like that. It's just something I wanted to share with you guys. I will also leave this in the description box below. Um, but and maybe in a week or so, I'll give you guys an update to see if I think it has done any different with the lashes or my eyebrows. So then the last, uh, well, I've got two more things and then I'll wrap it up. But I was really excited um, to get this perfume. But this is Wild Ride uh, PBR perfume. And it smells amazing. It smells so good. It smells good. So um, I actually picked we picked picked this up at um, our our local Western store um, called Sabas, and I don't know who's familiar and who's not familiar, but I'm sure that you can find it online. But I also have the link. Oop, I just splattered everywhere. Have the link um, in the description box below uh, for you guys to to look it up. And for those of you that have this, I'm sure. <sighs> I'm sure you guys know how amazing it smells. It is, oh gosh, it's just amazing. And you can spray it in the morning and even in the afternoon, it's still going strong. I absolutely, absolutely love it. It's not one that smells like alcohol, like some others do. I'll use a lot of amounts of alcohol. This does not. This is actually um, very long lasting. I was very impressed um, for the price of it. And again, I'll have everything linked in the description box below. The next perfume um, that I got, uh, I actually got this sent to me um, to review as well. And um, it's very nice because the case that it comes in is magnetic. And it's super, super hard. So um, it is called Devotion. And this is by Chris Adams. And I have never, never heard of him until I got this. But again, this perfume smells so, so good. Um, it comes very cute packaging. Uh, that I really like uh, with this on the top. But uh, I've only used this a couple of times. And I don't know. I don't... I don't want to say that um, it doesn't last very long. If I was comparing the two, this one absolutely lasts longer. Um, but this one, it still smells so, so good. And I know it lasts, but I just, I couldn't give you a precise on how long. I really haven't, um, you know, really haven't devoted that much time to say, oh, I wore it for six hours and, you know, I just, I just haven't. Um, but... It is absolutely amazing. I, I think it, that he did an amazing job on the packaging, how it comes. Uh, great idea. Very, very cute. And I'm sure you ladies would love it. But um, I will have it, it also linked in the description box below with all the information. Um, but anyway. So that is um, things that I've gotten. Uh, and that's all. So... I don't have anything else to share for this video. I'm so sorry. Uh, I hate to cut it short, but um, I hope you guys liked everything. Uh, again, I know I want to thank you all so much. Uh, I, I appreciate you all, my subscribers, um, as well as to those of you that, that just watched my videos and may not be subscribed, but um, I, I thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. It means so much. But I am back and I anticipate on having videos for you guys every week. And if you guys like this video, please give it a huge, huge, huge thumbs up. I greatly appreciate it. It helps me out so much. Um, if you hasn't, haven't subscribed, please do so. I, anyway, enough rambling. I will see you guys in my next video. See you later. Bye.